What's the problem? What? <laughs> good night. Good night. Me need no whopping. Me need no yadin and them something. Them and them depend that. Okay. All right. I, I apologize. I forgot that you are Mr. Futa hype and you don't you don't subscribe to that. Yeah, my thing different. You know? Your thing is different. All right. So speaking of your thing, I, we want to know about your thing tonight. What? It, who are you? And well, we already know who you are. But we want to know, what is it about Mr. Futa Hype? Can I call you Mr. Futa Hype? I don't have a problem reintroducing myself for okay. people who don't know me. I'm not one of those celebrities who feel like, okay, okay. I'm big already and everybody know me. Okay, no. thank you. Thank you. Well, I'm you glad. Michael Jackson. You did have people when I know Michael Jackson. I still don't know Michael Jackson. Okay. I have no generation or some people still don't know only Michael Jordan as much as them huge. So I don't have a problem reintroducing myself to my fans who already know me and to those who are seeing me for the first time. My name is O'Neill Thomas, a.k.a. Futa Hype. I'm a selector slash promoter slash producer slash a and slash songwriter slash actor slash activist for the truth slash Jamaican culture defender, all kind of things. Okay. Yeah. That was a long list. I'm going to have to write that down. That was good. <laughs> that was good. Well, to reintroduce myself, just because I know people are coming on and they're probably like, who is this Who is this woman? Who is she? Um, right. I like your lip on your chin. <laughs> you have a little point of your chin and your lip are going. I like it. Thank you, Thank you yeah. for the compliment. Yeah, but yeah no. <laughs> to reintroduce myself, my name is Leisha. I am a radio personality with Energy Radio. And I am here every Thursday bringing you guys great interviews and, yeah, everything that you want to know. So I have Mr. Futa Hype on tonight, and I keep calling you Mr. Futa Hype. And I'm, I'm going to get into why. Um, so he just introduced himself. So he covered who he is and what he does. So mm -hmm. now, and I'm getting right into it, what makes you Futa Hype? the people you know really yeah because um the entirety of the name footer hype was given to me by the people then um i'm motivated i was saved by the people then because the philosophy of saying you're a star or a celebrity it doesn't become truth until you have a following so Really and truly, your entire presence as a celebrity is made into a celebrity by the people. You understand what I'm saying? You yeah. can't be a celebrity if you're alone, no boy, you're not you're alone and hype yourself. True. It's the following that gives you the status of being a celebrity. So that's why you hear me say, I am from the people, for the people. You understand what I'm saying? So that's why Futa Hype is a celebrity. The people. That's why you're a celebrity. Okay. So you're yeah. ve you're very controversial. You're very like opinionated. Um, you put a little twist on it though. I don't call myself controversial. I don't consider myself to be controversial. Why not? I no, as I said before, the people uh -huh. make me a controversial figure. Okay. But I deal with truth, and the truth is most times offensive. So it seems like there's a contradicting vibe, like an opposing an offense and a defense. Mm -hmm. But I am simply just speaking the truth that I see and defending and upholding the truth that I see. I'm not controversial. Because 90% of the time when I go viral, I didn't orchestrate a viral. I'm just simply being real and true. And it goes viral. As opposing to a man putting on a wig, a man mm -hmm. act like a woman, a man deliberately a jump out of one tree and a roll out of one a corner, go wheel a bike and drop and make funny video figure. I don't do that. I've never done those things. Okay. So being that you don't do those things, why are you so against those things? And those things that you just described are um, what people do on a daily basis when living their life and just yeah, that if if it's a natural thing that you do because you do it, it's okay. But when you are doing it just to gain clout, then you are not being you. You are faking it. I don't do fake things. I am not going to come on here 
and say I'm with a movement if I'm against the movement. I can't do it. So I'm basically just spreading and evolving my truth. You understand what I say? So, and I like say, me against a man of the comedy or the skittery, but I don't want to be labeled with you as controversial because of that. I am just speaking the truth. That's all. That's it. So a man who dresses in women's clothing, Batman. You, it's not what? Batman. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Okay. So First thing, Lisa, I mean you know, on the scale there are certain things on the program, but it's not Instagram, we can't say what I say. Okay, don't uh, say anything. It's it's Instagram and no, I'm no, not no. scared of anything. I know, no. Media people don't like when you use certain words and certain terminologies because of backlash and all of mm -hmm. I've been saying this for years and I'm going to continue to say it. If you're an actor, you see? It's yeah. true. If you're an actor, and you have a skit role that you are going to video and edit and make into a video to put out. You have ample time to contact a female actress to play the female role. You don't need to be putting on a female dress and a panty and a brassiere and a wig. That's a lot of work and time and effort. Allow the female to get a spotlight. Allow the female to get a five minutes of fame. You are the creator, the originator of this kid, you can write the the role of the female and she's an actress. She can deliver the exact vibe where you want. You understand? It's like it's like most of the writers of movies like Steven Spielberg and those people, yeah. they are never on screen. No. And their dreams and aspiration what they write is played up by a Denzel Washington uh, whosoever the actor is and it comes to life so you can do it in a skit and there are a lot of female actresses who are being shadowed and, and being hidden because the male artists want the six seven different role including taking dick so all right so i get what you're i totally understand what you're saying so what about the what about the people that don't agree what about the people that feel like you know what Yes, the role is for a woman, and it, it does have a man putting on a wig and portraying a woman, but at the same time, they feel like a man could do it better at that moment. There's no female role where a man could do better. But you have a lot of... Okay, all right. So, so, so like, for instance, you have Major Hype, who does the Mitzi skit, right? He and doesn't have to. Okay. So you feel like he should have produced something like that? Exactly. Him, you know, exactly. It. It's his choice. It's something that he wants to do. He wants to be Missy. Same like the other one named Susan. He wanted to be Susan. So are so the men that put on women's wig, you would consider them to be gay, homosexual? Yeah, them have issues. And it's been proven now. Mm -hmm. It's been proven now because the one named Susan openly come out and say I'm gay. And then major hype saying being molested. So obviously there are issues. Tyler Perry saying they get abused and molested when they're younger. So obviously they use the, the acting as an opportunity to bring out that side that it's been proven now. Nobody can cuss me and say, Oh, Futa, you have style me or yeah, try to bring me down now. This is yeah. proven. You have come forth and said you have been molested. Um, Tyler Perry has done that. He has told his story. Um, Major has now told his story. Um, the one in here, Susan, I saw a caption that he wrote saying, Only oh, no boy, I style me, I just done sex with a girl, and I make her brother give me a blowjob. Obviously, you're gay. Once you say that, you're gay. Once man gave a blowjob, you're a batty man. There's no two ways to it. So, it just complements what I've been saying over these years. Okay. Once I see any of these comedians, any of these skit makers, male, acting the female role, I'm not questioning it. Either you're molested or you're a batty man. You have like Delhi Fever, you have Diane, you have a lot of girls, you have Star the Queens. The whole, whole heap of girls with the acting, why are they not as famous as 
a major hype or a Susan because mm -hmm. the opportunity was taken away from them. They were blocked from becoming that famous female actress in, 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 in cyber world because they were not given the opportunity. You understand what I'm saying? Now, I consider Major Hype to be very talented. Yeah. No disrespect. I think he's very talented. And I think if he gave those roles to the female and allowed it to be a couple's thing, it would have been way bigger than what he is. Okay. Okay. I guarantee because the, what are you saying to me? There are no females that can deliver a role given to them? Of course. No, no, I can't, I can't. Exactly. But why Why haven't we seen it? Because mm. the opportunity has been taken away. Mm. Chabas video them nice. Chabas not playing a female role. He, he gets a female to do it every time. And they are they are huge just to see him. Chabas mm. is big in the acting world just to see him. Mm -hmm. in, in you, have women, you have a lot of women out there like um, Stacey Expressions and, and I saw a video. Um, I know she has TC. a show she does. TC. TC. Yes, she did it with TC and it was good. And I feel like TC is a great actress. I feel like. Yeah, um, but the thing is, them boy, actress. them boy, I can't call, I mean, they can't call them boy, them whatever, yeah. Them ignorant for the woman, them. So they not, when they might think and skit and then roll, they don't want to think the woman. They want to think the woman and think for themselves. So they might try to play a man and woman and roll at the same time. Because somewhere in their life, they have been the female and they have been the male. So they're not a problem as a female because they have been in that position before. Whether that be molestation, rape, bad up, anything, they have been the submissive before. Mm. And they are, have been the domineering. So them get caught between two worlds and them feel like them can be the bitch and them can be the thugs. Wow. Yeah, I never thought about it that way. Um... I honestly feel like people should be able to do what they want to do, but at the same time, I mean, it would be nice to see more women in the dance hall community. It um, would be nice. Practice. It is right. It is right. Okay. It is the right to let the female survive. Mm. See, so are you telling me there are no female actresses? But I, I want to get it. Like, what are we saying? Mm -hmm. What what image are you projecting? Why do I need to be acting like I'm a female skinning out and taking fuck? Like, that no makes sense. Yeah. Actually, I'm a female, I take the dick then. Easier for everybody. You know, if your character not to be questioned. She eat food. Yeah, eat food. Simple. Wow. So someone on the live said um, that's why they rate you, because you tell the truth whether or not People are going to bash you or they're going to go on the opposite side and, and you know, in other words, done you on the inst on Instagram and, and Facebook. Darling, darling, <laughs> I was made by my mother and my father mm -hmm. under the instruction of the universe. Nobody can done me because they never make me. Mm -hmm. My mother and my father have sex. You must say mother and father, not father and father. Not mother and mother. My mother and father have sex. Ja pick a spirit to put in the combination of the egg and the sperm. And now you have foot and height here. Nobody can done me. How many have tried? How many? Let's let's do a little backtrack. Let's do a little backtrack. Uh, you have one named Dr. Fish, where am they? Missing. You have the Watless Cricketer, where am they? You have Kingfish, where am they? You have shitty done, where am they? Yeah. My own baby mother try to rub out my career. Where are these people? Who is still relevant? Who are you interviewing right now? Footer, I don't. So, nobody can't done me. People just try to share my spotlight. Okay, so that was another thing I was gonna I was gonna address. I'm glad you talked about family. You know, you mentioned your baby mother. Um. Mm -hmm. I don't know if your parents are alive and well. But... One of them. My mother is in the spirit realm right now. My okay. father is still in the flesh. So is, is your father proud of you? Does he like my, the work that you my do? My entire family proud of me. So your whole family supports your views and how you no, do No, 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 no. Not everybody oh. supports my views. I have a sister 
who decided that she's not going to talk to me for the rest of her life. And she wants not to exchange words with me because she loves Jesus so much and I don't deal with Jesus. Yeah, drink some water. <laughs> Wait, let me drink, no. some, let me drink some water too. Yeah, let's drink some water. Let definitely drink some water. So when you say you don't, you don't do Jesus. What? What is that? What is that? Well, um, Jesus is a lie. And I've been fortunate to obtain information and knowledge and a, a very high IQ to know that it's one of the biggest lies ever told to mankind, and mankind has been making the lie a truth. It's very deep. Like, it's the biggest lie. You know, if you tell somebody a lie, so often and so long, it becomes the truth, if mm -hmm. they believe it. So oh. Jesus is one of the biggest lies of all time. Okay, all right. So that's your view. No, um, it's a fact. No, that's no your it's view. a fact. It's a fact. So the only way you can say it's my view if you can prove me, prove me wrong. It's not my opinion neither. It's a fact. So you're an atheist? I'm not an atheist. I don't know what an atheist is. Futa okay. I just know said Jesus is alive. So I'm not taking a title of my atheist and no BT and a CT. I just know said Jesus and everything we come with it is a lie. Christmas is a lie. Santa Claus is a lie. All of we come with Jesus, a lie. Every part of it. So do you have a religion that you practice? No. I believe in connecting with your ancestors. That's what I believe in. I do have a religion. I, I most likely appreciate Rastafarian disciplines. But I'm not a Rastaman. But I appreciate the disciplines of Rastafarian and how they are supposed to operate. Come here, if they're supposed to operate because some Rasta act low, they might go one different road from our Rasta philosophy and guidelines. They pick them for me. They must straight. Mm. So, so you said that you believe in God. I believe in Jesus. How um, oh, so do you think Jesus is God? Of course. So that's a, it's a hard. Hold on, hold on, hold on. To... Lisa, you believe Jesus is God? Yeah. How? I want to be a believer to convince me. <laughs> I can't convince you. So, so, then, so, so, so how, how do you know that Jesus is God? Because remember what you said. When a person tells a lie for such a, you know, a long amount of time, they start, mm -hmm. they start to believe it. So mm -hmm. if it, Jesus is a lie, God is a lie, I'm just no, no. a I never I'm said God. Hey, all I can no, say. No, no. Lisa, 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 be, be careful. Don't mm -hmm. say what I never said. I never said God is a lie. You said, what did you say? Repeat that. Jesus is a lie. And I'm sure I'm, that's a cross in your ear? Yes, it's a necklace. Not a necklace, I'm sorry. It's an earring with the um is it cross? What what does the cross signify? So <laughs> this is a touchy subject for me, you know, because No, it must be touchy. This is different no, views. No, this is black people's views. problem. Opinionated. Black. I can't Lisa. convince you. Lisha, Lisha, this is black people's problem. Saying it's a touchy subject and I don't like talking about this and it's I don't that. Like, no, listen, no, but, but if it's touchy, you're basically saying it's a topic that you don't like to be debating about. Why would you not want to debate about something that you're giving your soul to when it's only one soul you have? You have two nostrils, two lip, two eye, two ears, ten finger, ten toe. Two breasts, two vagina jar, what if I different? Why the thing where you get the one? You want to get up without question where you get to. So here's my thing, right? When it comes to religion and views and religious views and how people, you know, express their religion, I feel like I'm okay believing what some will say is a lie. I'm I'm fine with that. No, no, but listen, let me ask you now. Do you have a brain, darling? Of course I do. Do you have your own mind? Do you decide what car you want to drive? Yes. Do, do you look at the specs of the car? Do you say, oh, I like the shape of this car. I think this car will fit me. Um, mm -hmm. And you check the mileage and you know, all of that. 
Yeah? Yeah. So, when you get a pay, like if somebody offer you a job, mm. you go look into it and say, yo, all right, I'm going to cook lunch every day, okay, I work, so I'm going to have to buy lunch. And then after tax days, I'm going to get this, and I have this to pay and this light bill, and you going to buy the boy a desert clocks and a mesh marina, and so you, you sketch out all your spending money, right? Yeah. Because so you have to have an overview of what you get yourself into, right? Yeah. So, um, how is it that people are so casual in giving their soul to something without doing any overview, without checking, without questioning? I love and I like that. But this, this is your soul you're speaking about. Mm -hmm. This is, this is what you have, even when the body deteriorates and vanishes. The soul is the only thing you'll have. So why do we so casually? give our soul to a cause because we have been told a story and we don't confirm the story. We don't, you know. It's like if you had an online shopping and them say, $150 for something and them advertise that picture. You have to look on the, 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 the reviews to make sure that a lot of people buy it already and know say I got something and even then you're still nervous. You take a risk at buying it. You might lose your, your hundred dollars, your sixty dollars. So it's good to research what you're getting into. Now, you say is a strong believer in Jesus. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna ask you, how old is Jesus? Listen, what's up? You're really, you know, you're really a celebrity because I'm sorry. I'm just reading the comments here that like people really believe in what they want to believe in. And I'm honestly a believer of what I was taught to believe. That's just it. That's well, only now, you're, now you're speaking. And I I'm like okay. what you just said. No, no, no. I like what you just said. But guess what? I'm not okay with it. Guess what? Oh. But you yes. know what? You're such an opinionated person. And like you said, you have a very high IQ. Mm -hmm. um, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a smart woman. Um, and people just That people, is why I'm upset. <laughs> listen, listen, listen. You're saying all the right stuff. That is why I have a problem with you being a believer of Jesus. You're a beautiful black woman. You, you are a queen. You are somebody who is very intelligent. That's why I don't like when intelligent people don't research. You can't double without research. So even when you research them, honestly speaking, even when you research, right, you still mm -hmm. believe what you want and what's in your heart. And yeah. that I watch yeah. your live all the time. And I, mm -hmm. I, I hear what you say about your beliefs and what you believe. But your belief is exactly what it is, a belief. No, you that's why I, I get wrong. I'm speaking facts, not believe. You can't elude belief. I say, that's what you believe with that. But then there's a fact. Mm -hmm. Not what me believe, not what you believe, not what they tell me. But what is, what is fact? and the fact is, Jesus is a lie. Okay, so oh, you can cut the interview now. Still, <laughs> listen, we can argue about this all day. People, who, people who are just checking in, um, I have the great high IQ, very opinionated. Um, put the hype on, and he just. We just spoke about religion. And my name is Leisha. I'm from Energy Radio. Um, and this is like the most heated interview I think I've had in a while. You sweating? Of course I'm sweating. <laughs> yeah, I like to make females sweat. Yeah. No, no, no. No, no, no. <laughs> don't, get, don't get it sweated. Don't get it sweated. He tried it. <laughs> he tried it. <laughs> so, yeah, so religion is a very touchy subject. So since as though you're so opinionated, I'm gonna I, I hear you brought up um your baby mother, Aisha. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you said she tried to destroy you. What did you mean by that? Or she tried to dun you and you listed a few people. Okay. Is it because of your beliefs? No, me and my baby mother had a situation. You know, was we was together for almost ten years. So uh -huh. yeah. It was a great 10 years. Mm -hmm. It was a miserable 10 years. It was a happy 10 years. It was a disgusting 10 years. 
Um, it was like a roller coaster, right? Um, when it ended, um, instead of um, she dealt with it in a manner that was not called for. She painted an impression on me, which is not. So even today, even like right now, if I go outside, I'm approached by people thinking that I'm this super humongous monster mm. based on her interviews and what was said via the internet and the songs and all of that. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So I'm really pissed at the, the, the after presentation. You understand what I'm saying? Like, the oh. way I, I was presented to the public by her is something that I still haven't forgiven her for yet. Really? Yeah. Because wow. I, I have to live with it every day. And so so when you say you live with it every day? Meaning like I'm going to the airport. Mm -hmm. People are talking, oh, see him there? Woman beat him, this and that. Blah, 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 blah. So mm -hmm. then we have to stand up with 15, 12, 15 people in the airport I explain my life and I come back down to a situation where they say, Oh, he was mm -hmm. like that. Can we have some pictures? Oh, wait, wait. You're totally different from what I thought. It's, and I, it's an everyday thing. It's been seven years and I still cannot walk in peace. Like, you know? Because wow. mm -hmm. I don't think people understand, you know, I am way more popular and, sorry, way more known. Uh -huh. Beyond dance hall, I might go to the bank, right? And it might be a 65 year old lady who does not attend parties and stuff like that. But she watches my YouTube videos religiously. She watches the interviews religiously. And she can, that's what I even when I have on my mask. And then they want to converse, they want to know, they look into the situation and say, oh, I didn't understand this and I didn't understand that. You know what I mean? For like, it's been seven years. Sometimes my overwhelm I say like why people are still into this. You know what I'm saying? Because it's been gone so long. So it's something we have to live with. You understand? Not saying I was a saint and there wasn't any problems. But the way it was delivered to the public, that's not how it was. Uh, and so, I couldn't be So did you did you hit her? Like, did you? Because that's we what you fight. Did. We fight. We fight. Okay, I'm fight. not going to come here and say, Oh, I hate her. Like, I'm a madman getting mm -hmm. up and just putting my hands on a woman. Yeah. I'm not like that. It's been seven years. Have you heard any other complaint from any other females that Futa is abusive? Futa is a woman beater? No. No, but one thing, one thing I could say, and I, uh, this is one thing that I've said, I've said when the whole major hype situation happened and going forward with other men in the past who they said have put their hands on women, men need to understand mm. if you fight with a woman, right, mm. and from that fight, she sustains injuries from the fight, mm. then to me, that equals as abuse. Because if, yeah. she, if she slaps you across your face, and you slap her, you kick her down a flight of stairs, you punch her in her nose, and from that, she has a bruised rib, broken nose, chip, torn scalp, and you're, you're fine. Nothing's wrong with you. I feel like that's abuse. Oh, well, I've never, I've, I've never really said this before, though, but I have cuts and bruises and stuff like that. I got stitches and shit from okay. out of my situation. But what I'm saying is the reason why I left her alone and give her the playing field, I didn't like toe to toe and continue with her because I, I could have been like every time she said something, I go say something. Yeah. But I, 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 got realized, a, that you did. I realized that you did. I, I got a son. Yeah. And that's his mother. In time to come, he'll know the truth. He'll understand. But I don't want him to be going on YouTube and seeing me all the time going back and forth with his mom. And if I'm supposed to talk, all the stuff that I'm supposed to talk to, 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 to say, okay, I won. You did this bad. That's, that's on the public, just soothing the public. It's not soothing me and it's not soothing her. Because okay. at, at the end of the day, no matter what the public validates, I think we got to deal with it. So can I say something? I realized mm. that West Indian men, Caribbean men, whatever they want to call it, mm. um, 
they only cherish the baby mothers. What about the women that you don't have kids with? That 